guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today in the Ask SSM video series, I got an email from a subscriber who definitely has a little bit of a dilemma. It turns out that his uh, good friend is your typical nice guy, blue pill type of guy when it comes to his marriage and his wife. And this guy's definitely, there are problems there. And so the guy writing in, he uh, obviously is a subscriber, watches my stuff, has been RP'd quite well. And he wants to help his friend out because he can see a lot of problems not only arising but already in existence. His concern is that if he tries to help him out and kind of talking to him in a way that this guy needs to hear, he's going to lose his friend. And so I thought this would be a darn good one to do because I think a lot of you guys that watch me, maybe you were that guy in the past but learned, or maybe right now you got friends that you can think at least one friend that's doing something like this that you know he needs help but uh, he doesn't want to hear it or you think that you might lose him, or maybe you had somebody like this in the past. And so I'm going to go through his story here. It's not too long about the situation here, and you'll see real quick the type of woman this guy's married to and how she treats him, why he needs this help. And I'm going to give him some uh, answers to what I think he should do in this situation, break down why so many guys remain in denial about this type of thing, and go on from there. Because I think this will benefit a lot of guys watching this. Because as time goes on, as you guys, be more and more guys watch this and learn this type of stuff, learn reality versus is fantasy land stuff they promote in the movies and the media and TV and all, you're going to have some of your bros that are going to need help. So, he starts off, he says, uh, hey SSM, a buddy of mine who's cool to hang out with, easygoing, low maintenance, and when I talk conservative values, he seems to be on board. He's a good guy. The problem is, he's totally blue-pilled in his marriage. He's married to a little firecracker with colored hair. She said, he says uh, she has blue hair one month, then pink the next. A face like a tackle shop, etc. They have two sons, one just out of a toddlerhood and another just entering. She lets him hang out with me once a week, every Saturday, but the rest of the time he's watching the boys and catering to her. Smack to your friend. Catering to her. She lets him hang out with you. What kind of freaking man has a situation where his wife lets him hang out with his bros or he's catering to her but this is usually how it goes and you guys are going to see real quick as I get on with this guy's email here uh, to no surprise what's going on behind the scenes he watches the boys during the day works what used to be called the swing shift at night and is otherwise at her beck and call required to coddle and wait on her when she's bored stressed hungry tired, angry, sad, or any other thing. And he watches the boys when she goes out. Coddles her, all these other things, waits in her hand and foot. What happens to guys that do that for their lady? Girlfriend, fiance, wife. What happens to them? We all know. They usually get cheated on or dumped or usually something, both of them, right? Problem is, men are taught from an early age through all the movies and TV, that's what you do. That's what you do, and you'll be rewarded handsomely by her loving you more and all that. Or guys were raised maybe in single parent households where the mom taught him things because she wanted to raise a little gentleman to be the way that she thinks that men should act. And how does that work out? He would sometimes make comments like how I should teach him how I to get so many girls. And I used to say, never mind, you're married. Until, guess what? One day he revealed to me that he is in a polyamorous relationship. Translation, open marriage. He told me this after I made some really funny jokes about Will Smith that he didn't laugh at. Should have known myself. There you go. This guy waits on her hand and foot, coddles her, does all these things. She tells him what to do. She lets him go out. And then, no surprise, he's in an open marriage. And he's the guy that actually allowed this. Big shocker. You can see why this guy needs help. And do you think he's going to be very receptive of somebody saying your situation is effed up? Anyway, ever since then, my respect for him has taken a major blow. I love this guy like a little brother, and I want to tell him more than anything else, you don't have an open marriage, your wife does. But you don't. I really want to RP this guy hard. Well, this guy needs it. The question is, will he want it? The thing is, I also don't want to jeopardize our friendship. I've already told him some things like, don't ask her what she wants for dinner. Say, hey, I'm making chicken parm. Want some? He didn't seem to take that advice too well. So I'm afraid if I push much harder, he might start pulling away from our friendship. 
So here's the deal. Can you recommend, say, three, four, or five videos of yours and someone else's? Introductory stuff may be aimed at his particular situation. To open up his eyes, to get him thinking a little bit. Something I can send him in links one at a time. Gauge his reaction and see if it's worth pushing more. I'd appreciate it, SSM and keep up the good fight. So, yes, I will email you privately a few videos that can help him out. But before you do any of this, I'm going to address a few things that all guys who are in this situation or will be one day may find themselves. Yes, you may lose this guy as a friend because he's not going to want to hear it. And there's going to be multiple reasons why he's not going to want to hear it. But if you are really a good friend, you care about him because you can see not only where he's screwing up, but where obviously the way he handles her or she handles him is going to cause him not only pain, that he's already in pain, let's be honest, but more pain down the road, you could risk losing him. But a good friend, in my opinion, will do it regardless. But it's kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation or a shoot the messenger situation. I kid you not, guys, I did a video on, uh, today is Sunday, I'm filming this for Monday. I did a video uh, yesterday, I mean today, Sunday, where a guy did that. He warned her, warned his buddy about a woman he was dating because he went on a date with her. She was a train wreck and his buddy didn't want to hear about it. And they ended up not being friends and not talking for a while. So you got to be prepared for that to this dude and anybody else. But if you try to help him, keep in mind he may not be very receptive to anything. And there's a lot of reasons why. Let's break this down real quick. Men, we have egos. We got pride. And we don't like to admit when we're going wrong. Okay, we don't like to admit that we effed up, at least most of us. And the thing is this, is that there can be multiple reasons. One is denial. The odds are I'll probably go into denial, say, no, 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 it's not a big deal or anything like that, and doesn't want to hear it. Also, the guy is so, he thinks he's in love with her, so he doesn't want to think that she is taking advantage of him or uh, seeing weakness in him or is going to cheat on him or is cheating on him. They don't want to hear that because this is the love of their life, blah, blah, blah. They don't want to hear that their girl is anything but uh, sugar and spice and everything nice and perfect, that kind of crap. They don't want to hear it. So good luck trying to penetrate that. Or they also have been brainwashed by the narrative. The narrative out there that you all know about in movies, television, media, you name it, the music, about how women are and relationships are and all that. Good luck, because after decades of brainwashing, good luck. Or also, he doesn't want to feel stupid. The guy doesn't want to feel stupid that he is in the wrong. He misjudged her or doesn't want to feel stupid because he's been acting weak, that type of thing. So understand by you trying to help him, which I know you are, you're going to have a whole wall of resistance because of those different reasons. But that being said, I would say it anyway. Okay. And I would tell him, look, I want to help you out. You're my friend and I can see a lot of things you're going wrong. And I've learned these things in my experience. And there's a lot of great channels and sources out there can really talk about these things, talk about the situation you're going in right now and see if he's receptive to that. And if he isn't, not a whole lot you can do. I mean, you can try to help him and explain in words that you think he can understand without damaging his ego. Because remember, his ego and his pride is very important. Men are the, men are the way we are. Let's, let's, we all know it. But if he's unwilling to take your advice or he gets pissed off and doesn't want to hear it, that's all you can do. You tried. All right? That's the best thing a friend can do. And either depending on his reaction, how he acts towards you, either you'll stop hanging out for a while, stop talking, or uh, you won't. But in a situation like that, a guy sometimes or in life, people have to go through a lot of pain for to get them to turn around. Like someone that's been overweight their whole life, or, or in cases, obese, and aren't willing to do anything about it, oftentimes it takes a major health scare, where literally their doctor's saying, you almost died, and you're going to die in years unless you lose this weight, to get them to finally take action, get on a good diet, and change their ways and all that. A health scare. Or it takes guys getting their heart completely ripped out, stomped into a million pieces, to finally realize, hey, you know what, I'm doing something wrong here. My whole view on things is completely off. I need help. So it may take him obviously having her going out and hooking with other dudes and maybe uh, her being the town bicycle and uh, maybe her dumping or some, going through enough pain to realize I'm going wrong here. I need help. Is I screwed up. This is the way it is and I need help. That, that That's probably going to be the case because it wasn't that story, that video I did just the other day. So in this situation, I would open up to this idea understand where his pride is going to be bring you a lot of resistance and try to help him out and if he doesn't want to hear it you did your best you tried 
And if, if you part ways in a way like, okay, you're not fighting, whatever, just say, hey, well, you know what? Down the road, if you want uh, some help, I'll be here to help you. End of story. And that's that. Now, you may stop hanging out with him because you keep losing respect for him. That's a whole other thing. But my my what I think will probably happen is either he'll listen to you or he's not going to listen to you and give you resistance and things will keep going as they are and he'll keep being humiliated and eventually it'll get so bad that then he'll be reaching out to you looking for help. And at that point, then you can offer it, give him the videos, suggestions, not just me, but other channels and go from there. And this goes to anybody else looking for to help the guys out. But remember guys, I've been doing this for a while now, over two years. And I don't just have females. I don't, I don't just have women that hate my guts. I also have guys that hate my guts. I have a lot of male haters because what I talk about in this channel and all that goes exactly against what they've been raised to believe, their narrative. Okay. So they hate on me too, because I'm attacking what they think is true. Okay. And nobody likes to hear something that goes against their core belief systems at all. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've lost some friends because of what I do here on YouTube. Not just uh, have pe random people not like me that never met me. I'm talking about people in my life that I used to be good friends with. A couple guys in particular, great guys, at least I thought so. They don't talk to me anymore because of what I do here on YouTube. And these are great guys, in my opinion. I, I've known them for a long time. But they're family guys, married, daughters, all that. And they don't like hearing this stuff, type of stuff. And that's, it's unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. I'm not going to change my mind to make other people happy. And yeah, I'm going to make enemies. But it is what it is. Maybe one day they'll be reaching out saying, you know what? You were right. We shall see. So, bro, I will send you a few links anyway. Just give me some time to collect them. And uh, do what you can with your friend. But... The odds are he's not going to go for it. And so depending on how much you push, you may end up losing him as a friend. And then you can decide if you want to help him down the road when he eventually does come to you. Because they they all do. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Guys, let me know if you had situations where you had friends that need the help. And you try to help them and they didn't want, to do, didn't want your help at all. Hating on you. But then down the road, they came crawling back asking for your help because they got hurt and, or impacted bad enough. I'd like to hear about that. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.